President Mohamed Buhari has assured party faithful he would not be contesting a third term in office. President Buhari, while tasking party officials to put Nigerians first at the National Executive Council meeting of the party in Abuja, says Nigerians deserve good leadership. He urged members of the APC to be committed to delivering good governance to Nigerians, saying history will not forgive the APC if they fail Nigerians. This is the only way we can make this party survive. And this is the only way history will be kind to us. That we have led with absolute concern for the country and for the people. If for any other reason you divide the party at any constituency and it causes failure, then be prepared that history will not recognize you as a leader at any level, at any time. Joining us via telephone is the National Secretary. Joining us via telephone is the National Publicity Secretary of, Af of Afeni Fere Yinka Odumaking. President Mohamed Buhari has assured, again assured Nigerians he will not be contesting a third time. This is not the first time he's debunking the allegations. Are you satisfied he's been honest? Well, clearly, no. Only we have Nigerians that uh, we find it difficult to, to trust our politicians. And like it was said that, you know, that uh, politicians uh, find it funny when you trust them. And uh, for instance, you know, the president twenty four hours can come in. Hopefully, to this country that we will not have a first lady, the office of the president. Not that we will not have a wife, but we saw recently appointing six eight for the first lady. And when the wife announced that she not be addressed as first lady, he said nothing. So we have seen politicians denying things like this and then going ahead to do them. And I've read it even clearly. Well, the one I'm saying is that I said as well. Uh, it's war by the Holy Book. I know it's a full Muslim, but he said that he will not speak a second time because that was the Constitution says. The only yesterday we saw him meeting the 36 speakers of his assembly. And just yesterday, the Senate President said that anything the President brings is good for the country in terms of legislation and appointments. So what are we doing? He take the Constitution. Then he will not, he's not bound by the oath he took to the Holy Book. So we we will not just take it at just next there until we seek what kind of steps that is not seeking a third time in office. What will he do to convince you that he's been honest at this point in time? What will satisfy us is when the APC starts having a their presidential nomination and they have a candidate who is trained for the current president who will vie for office in 2023. That's what we believe, that there's also in the agenda. The president at the NEC meeting emphasized the importance of good leadership. Has he provided one so far in your estimation? Uh, well, uh, yes, I don't think he has done the best in terms of uh, providing leadership for the country. Uh, in so many respects, in terms of appointment patterns, Concentrating the, all the security issues in the country, in the session of the country. It's only this government, I say, the first time in of Nigeria, we are having the, the head of executive from the Cornwall, head of uh, judiciary from Cornwall, next like, Senate president from the Cornwall, most of the service chiefs from the, from, from, from the North. We have seen more of an exclusive governance than inclusive governance. I was saying to the people today, the borders in the South, in, in the West today have been short. The borders in the north are only partially short. Most of the borders are open. That is not how to provide a good, good issue for the country. So clearly, the president needs to do more to convince Nigerians that is giving the country that they need at this crucial time. 